Hey guys, this is Martin again from Sears Z, and today I'm going to show you uh, the Q Server CS800, or also known as the Q Server Pro. Um, this is a cool device that allows you to record and play back different uh, DMX streams and different DMX values, and it allows you to set them up with button triggers, uh, calendar and clock triggers, and other cool stuff like that. So today we're going to show you a little bit of, of what it could do uh, with a really basic uh, CRC DMX strip and we're just going to walk you through some very very basic um, um, items that, 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 that you could do with, with the Q server. Uh, I'm not an expert on this, you know, I've, I've been using it for about a week or so now so I'm a little bit familiarized with it. But uh, it definitely takes a little bit of, of practice to get used to it. But once once you you have enough practice with it, it becomes very easy to use. So first of all, uh, what you want to do is make sure you have programmed your computer's IP settings within the range of the IP settings of your Q server. Once you have done so, um, then you could connect your Q server uh, via an Ethernet cable to your computer or to a network switch or hub. You know, which, whichever way is going to work fine. Uh, for this specific type of um, setup. So once once you have done all of that, uh, then you want to input your IP address of, of the Q server, which is listed in the in the settings, into the browser, and you click go, and it should take you to the home screen here. Um, as you could see here, I already have some stuff set up. I already have some triggers configured and whatnot. So I'm going to show you uh, really quick um, what I have done. So the Q server has eight buttons on the front of it. These are the default buttons and you can use them uh, to assign different cues and triggers too. So that's what I have done here. And on my first one, I got uh, just a, a red uh, setup here on, on my strip. Okay. And then my button two, it kind of just releases everything, all functions and, and it just turns everything off. Okay. Uh, then three, it's blue, four is green. And if you notice, it fades in between each different queue. Um, and you could change all that here. I, I set the fade to about three seconds. So it does take a while to go from one to the other. Um, but you could always change that. And then also, uh, here I got a DMX stream. And this is really cool about the queue server because you could record a live DMX uh, moving show uh, and then save it all onto here. Um, you know, so it's very convenient and it's a very powerful uh, piece of equipment. So now that you have seen uh, what you could do, um, I'm going to show you more or less how to do it. So we're here on the on the home screen, and let's say we want to create a new queue. Okay. So first of all, you have to connect your DMX cable, okay, to your DMX source because we're going to be recording from a, from a third-party DMX source, okay? In this case here, we are using a Matrix Neo and the Matrix software. So we're gonna hook this up here, just like that. So we have our DMX uh, output here, going to our DMX input on the Q server, okay? So now we're gonna go to the Matrix software and we're gonna do something, um, let's see, we could do a color change stream. So we'll, we'll record a stream for you guys. So if you see here, um, I've got my different colors changing. So it's already set and going. Okay. So now I do have DMX output here. Okay. So now we go to our queue list here on the top. Okay. And right here is a button that says add a queue. So we're going to click add a queue and then it'll, it'll ask you what queue type. So you, it, it's either standard or streaming. Standard is if it's like a stationary um, a queue, you know, something that's not moving, like a solid color or something like that. Uh, streaming is more for moving stuff. So now that we have uh, selected uh, streaming, okay, it's gonna ask you to set up a queue number. Uh, it'll just by default set up to the next available one, so we'll just leave it alone. You can name it. Uh, we're not gonna name it here. And follow mode basically just means uh, what you wanted to do after it has completed the, the, the queue or the scene. So we're just putting next queue for now. Uh, actually, no, we could just put a loop so that it'll it'll just continue to loop on its own uh, and repeat the same the same queue. Okay, link queue. That's not really important right now. So now we go to continue to next step, and if there is DMX signal coming in, it'll it'll look like it does here. Okay. But if, if there's no DMX signal, it'll, it'll just say no DMX signal. So now we're just going to um, stream duration. We're going to set exactly the time, how long we want to record. 
and we'll set it for like five seconds and then we'll click start recording so now as, as it's recording it'll it'll basically record um, all the DMX values and all the changes as it's outputting from the from the from the DMX uh, interface here so while we wait for that to finish okay then uh, you know you want to make sure that everything's still connected everything's good so now uh, it looks like it's like it stopped recording it's it's done recording so now we go to next queue okay and then uh, then we click save okay we click save and now here you'll see that it's already recorded our stream it's set for five seconds and it's looping so whenever you play this particular cue it'll just continue to loop now uh, we could actually test and make sure that it actually recorded what we told it to record so now we're going to ex exchange this cable i mean you could use two cables but i just have one for now um, so we're going to connect like this okay so we're going from the output now to our strip which has an input here and the way that the QServer platform works is by inputting script commands. It's the QScript, that's what they call it. So there's a list of commands that you input in a certain manner and it'll actually do for you. There's not a whole lot of buttons to choose from, but there's commands. So once you get familiarized with the commands and how they work, uh, it becomes pretty efficient and easy to use. So now here uh, we're going to go, we're going to put Q, 8, go, okay? And that should trigger what we just recorded. So now you see it's a color changing stream and it should last five seconds and it'll loop. So if you see it jump like that, it means that it's looping, okay? Um, you know, you could always record it to where like it kind of uh, links up on its own so it looks like a seamless loop. But for now, we're just doing a quick test. Okay, so now we know that it works, all right? So we could just uh, tell it to Q8 release so it'll just turn off and it'll turn off for now okay so now we're gonna create a trigger on this okay um we're gonna go to function buttons and these are the fun function buttons here on the on the q server on the front we already have already have six of them used so i'm gonna create a new one okay and it's gonna be button number seven all right i'm not gonna name it uh but for function i'm gonna do a preset toggle which means a certain uh, Q is going to uh, trigger off. So I'm going to put a, I believe it was Q8. And then on the action, you got to write a script, which is a command. So whenever you hit that certain button, a uh, certain uh, command or Q will go off. So we're going to put Q8, go. Okay. And then function, we got to make sure that the preset is active. All right, and all this other stuff, you don't really need it for now. So we click save. And now, if we click button number seven, that's going to trigger our uh, stream that we had previously recorded. So that's pretty much um, what there is to it. Uh, but there's a whole lot more to the to the Q server. Um, right now, I just want to show you guys a simple thing that you could do and kind of what it looks like and how it works. Uh, you know, so but you could create a calendar triggers, clock triggers. Um, you know, you can create shows, uh, you can create a bunch of stuff. There's a whole big manual, it's like 184 pages that has a bunch of different stuff that you could do with it. So pretty much any application that's architectural, residential, um, you know, anything that requires something that's very custom and very specific to certain needs. Uh, with the Q server, you could achieve that using a wider range of DMX 512. Um, fixtures. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, ideas, anything like that, uh, just go ahead and drop us a comment there on the YouTube comment box. Uh, don't forget to check out our website at serve and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.